The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans Chapter 46 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful ha Mim. The successive revelation of the law is from God, the Mighty, the Wise We created the heavens and the earth and what is between them only a right and for a term appointed but those who are indifferent to warning turn away from that whereof they are warned. Say thou, have you considered to what you call besides God? Show me what they have created of the earth. If they have a partnership in the heavens, bring me a decree from before this or some remnant of knowledge, if you be truthful. And who is further astray than those who, rather than to God, call to such as respond not to their call until the day of resurrection, but are of their call unaware? And when mankind is gathered, they will be enemies to them and deniers of their service. And when our clear proofs are recited to them, those who are indifferent to warning say of the truth when it comes to them, this is obvious sorcery. If they say, he has invented it, say thou, if I have invented it, then you possess not for me anything against God. He knows best what you say concerning it. Sufficient is he as witness between me and you, and he is the forgiving, the merciful. Say thou, I am no new thing among the messengers, and I know not what will be done with me or with you. I follow only what I am instructed, and I am only a clear warner. Say thou, have you considered, if it be from God and you deny it, and a witness bore witness among the children of Israel to the like thereof, and he believed when you are proud. Ellipsis. Then are you wrongdoers. To continue. God guides not the wrongdoing people. And those who are indifferent to warning say of those who heed warning, had it been good, they would not have preceded us to it. And when they have not been rightly guided by it, then they will say, This is an ancient lie. But before it was the law of Musa, an example and mercy. And this is a confirming decree in the Arabic tongue, that it might warn those who do wrong and bring glad tidings to the doers of good. Those who say, Our Lord is God, then are upright they need not fear, nor will they regret. These are the companions of the garden, they abiding eternally therein as a reward for what they did. And we enjoined upon man good conduct towards his parents. His mother bore him with aversion, and brought him forth with aversion, and the bearing of him and the weaning of him is thirty moons. When he has reached maturity and reached forty years, he says, My Lord, direct thou me to be grateful for the grace wherewith thou hast favoured me and my parents, and to work righteousness pleasing to thee, and do thou write by me concerning my progeny. I turn to thee repentant, and I am of those submitted. These are they from whom we accept the best of what they did and overlook their evil among the companions of the garden, the promise of truth which they were promised. And he who says to his parents, Fie, do you promise me that I will be brought forth when generations have come and gone before me? And they seek succour of God. Woe to thee, believe thou, the promise of God is true. Then he says, This is only the legends of former peoples. These are they upon whom the word concerning the communities of jinn and people which had come and gone before them became binding. They are losers. And for all are degrees for what they did. 
and that he might repay them in full for their deeds, ellipsis, for all our degrees, for what they did, to continue, and they will not be wronged. And the day those who are indifferent to warning are exposed to the fire, you left your good things in the life of this world, then sought enjoyment therein, and this day are you rewarded with the punishment of humiliation because you were proud in the earth without cause, and because you were wantonly perfidious. And remember thou the brother of Ad, when he warned his people of the wind-curved sand hills, and warners have come and gone before him and after him. Serve not save God, I fear for you the punishment of a tremendous day. They said, Hast thou come to us to delude us away from our gods? Then bring thou upon us what thou promisest us, if thou be of those who speak the truth. He said, the knowledge is but with God, and I convey to you that wherewith I have been sent. But I see you are a people in ignorance. Then when they saw it as an expanse of cloud approaching their valleys, they said, This is an expanse of cloud bringing us rain. Nay, it is that which you sought to hasten, a wind wherein is a painful punishment, destroying all things by the command of its Lord. Then morning found them. There was nothing to be seen save their dwellings. Thus reward we the evil-doing people. And we had established them in that wherein we have not established you, and we gave them hearing and sight, and intellect. But their hearing and sight and intellect availed them nothing when they rejected the proofs of God, and there surrounded them that whereat they mocked. And we destroyed what surrounds you of cities and expounded the proofs that they might return. Oh, that there had but helped them, those whom they had taken for gods besides God as a means of approach. Nay, they forsook them, and that was their lie and what they had invented. And when we turn towards thee a band among the jinn, listening into the Qur'an, when they were in its presence, they said, Listen attentively. And when it was concluded, they turned back to their people, warning. They said, O oh, our people, we have heard a decree sent down after Musa, confirming what is within its scope, guiding to the truth and to a straight road. O oh, our people, respond to the caller to God and believe in him. He will forgive you your transgressions and protect you from a painful punishment. And whoso responds not to the caller to God, he will not escape in the earth, and he has no allies besides him. These are in obvious error. Have they not considered that God, who created the heavens and the earth, and has not been wearied by their creation, is able to give life to the dead? Verily, God is powerful over all things. And the day those who are indifferent to warning are exposed to the fire, is then this not the truth? They will say, Verily, by our Lord. He will say, Then taste the punishment for what you denied. So be thou patient, even as those possessed of determination among the messengers were patient, and seek thou not to hasten for them. The day they see what they are promised, it will be as though they had tarried save an hour of a day. Communication. Then would there be destroyed save the wantonly perfidious people. Chapter 47 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Those who are indifferent to warning and forsake the path of God, he leads their deeds astray. 
But those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness and believe in what was sent down upon Muhammad, and it is the truth from their Lord, he removes from them their evil and makes right their state. Because those who are indifferent to warning follow vanity, and because those who heed warning follow the truth from their Lord. Thus does God present to men their examples. And when you meet those who are indifferent to warning, the smiting of the necks, when you have thoroughly subdued them, make strong the bond, then either grace thereafter or ransom until the war lay down its burdens. That when God had willed he would have taken revenge on them, but that he might try some of you by means of others, ellipsis, he wills that some be slain in the path of God to continue. And those who are slain in the path of God, he sends not their deeds astray. He will guide them and make right their state, and make them enter the garden he has made known to them. O oh, you who heed warning, if you help God, he will help you and make firm your feet. And those who are indifferent to warning, wretchedness is theirs, and he leads their deeds astray, because they are averse to what God sent down. So he makes their deeds vain. Have they not travelled in the land to see how was the final outcome of those who were before them? God destroyed them. And for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue is the like thereof, because God is benefactor to those who heed warning, and because those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue have no benefactor. God makes those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness into gardens beneath which rivers flow. And those who are indifferent to warning enjoy themselves and eat as the cattle eat, and the fire is a home for them. And how many a city stronger than thy city which has turned thee out have we destroyed, and they have no helper. Is then he who is on clear evidence from his Lord like him to whom is made fair the evil of his deeds and follow their vain desires? The example of the garden which is promised those of prudent fear. Therein are rivers of water incorruptible and rivers of milk of unchanging taste and rivers of wine, a pleasure to the drinkers and rivers of purified honey and they have therein every sort of fruit, and pardon from their Lord. Like him who abides eternally in the fire, and is given a scalding liquid to drink so that it lacerates their intestines, and among them are some who listen to thee. When they have gone forth from thy presence, they say to those who are given knowledge, What was that he said just now? These are they whose hearts God sealed, and they follow their vain desires. And those who are rightly guided, he increases them in guidance and gives them their prudent fear. Await they, save that the hour should come upon them unexpectedly, and its tokens have come. So what good to them, when it comes to them, will be their reminder? And know thou that there is no God save God, and ask thou forgiveness for thy transgression, and for the believing men, and the believing women. And God knows your going to and fro, and your dwelling. And those who heed warning say, Oh, that a surah were but sent down. Then when an explicit surah is sent down and killing is mentioned therein, thou seest those in whose hearts is disease looking at thee with the look of one overshadowed by death. So woe to them. Obedience and fitting speech. And when the matter is determined, then were it best for them that they were true to God. 
And would you, perhaps, if you turn away, work corruption in the land and sever your kinship? These are they whom God has cursed, then made deaf and made blind their sight. Will they then not consider the Qur'an with care? If there be locks upon their hearts, those who turn their backs after the guidance has become clear to them, the shaitan has enticed them and reprieved them, because they said to those who are averse to what God sent down, we will obey you in part of the matter. But God knows their secrets. So how will it be when the angels take them, striking their faces and their backs, because they followed what angered God and were averse to what pleased him? So he made vain their deeds. If those in whose hearts is disease think that God will not bring forth their ill will, and had we willed, we would have shown them to you that thou shouldst know them by their mark. But thou wilt know them by their tone of speech. And God knows your deeds. And we will test you until we know the strivers among you and the patient. And we will test your assertions. Those who are indifferent to warning and forsake the path of God and are hostile towards the messenger after the guidance has become clear to them, they harm not God at all, but he will make vain their deeds. O oh, you who heed warning, obey God and obey the messenger and make not vain your deeds. Those who are indifferent to warning and forsake the path of God then die as atheists. God will not pardon them. So relent not and sue for peace when you have the upper hand. And God is with you and will not deprive you of your deeds. The life of this world is but play and diversion. But if you believe and are in prudent fear, he will give you your rewards and not ask of you your wealth. If he should ask it of you and press you, then would you be miserly, and he would bring forth your ill will. Here you are, called to spend in the path of God, then among you is he who is miserly, and whoso is miserly, he is but miserly against himself, and God is the free from need, and you are poor. And if you turn away, he will replace you with a people other than you, then will they not be the likes of you. Chapter 48 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. We gave thee a clear victory, that God might forgive thee that which proceeded of thy transgression, and what will follow, and perfect his grace towards thee, and guide thee to a straight path, and that God might help thee with mighty help. He it is who sent down tranquillity into the hearts of the believers, that they might increase in faith with their faith. And to God belong the forces of the heavens and the earth, and God is knowing, wise, that he might make the believing men and the believing women enter gardens beneath which rivers flow, they abiding eternally therein, and remove from them their evil, and that in the sight of God is a tremendous achievement, and punish the wavering men and the wavering women and the idolaters, and the idolatresses, those who think an evil thought about God, for them is an evil reversal, and God is wroth with them, and has cursed them, and prepared them for hell, and evil is it as a journey's end. And to God belong the forces of the heavens and the earth, and God is mighty, wise. We sent thee as a witness and a bearer of glad tidings and a warner that you might believe in God and his messenger and honour him and reverence him and give glory to him morning and evening. 
those who swear fealty to thee but swear fealty to God. The hand of God is above their hands. Then whoso reneges, he but reneges against his soul. And whoso fulfills what he has taken upon him as a pledge to God, he will give him a tremendous reward. Those who were left behind of the Arabs will say to thee, Our possessions and our families engaged us, so ask thou forgiveness for us. They speak with their tongues that which is not in their hearts. Say thou, Who can avail you anything against God if he intends for you harm or intends for you benefit? The truth is, God is aware of what you do. The truth is, you thought that the messenger and the believers would never return to their families, and that was made fair in your hearts, and you thought an evil thought, and are a people ruined. And whoso believes not in God and his messenger, we have prepared an inferno for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. And to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. He forgives whom he wills, and he punishes whom he wills. And God is forgiving, merciful. Those who were left behind will say, when you set forth for gains to take them, let us follow you. They seek to change the word of God. Say thou, you shall not follow us. Thus said God before. Then will they say, the truth is, you begrudge us. The truth is, they understand not save a little. Say thou to those who are left behind of the Arabs, you will be summoned against a people possessed of strong might. You will fight them or they will submit. If you obey, God will give you a goodly reward. But if you turn away as you turned away before, he will punish you with a painful punishment. There is no blame upon the blind, nor is there blame upon the lame, nor is there blame upon the sick. And whoso obeys God and his messenger, him will he make enter gardens beneath which rivers flow. And whoso turns away, him will he punish with a painful punishment. God was pleased with the believers when they swore fealty to thee beneath the tree, and he knew what was in their hearts, and sent down tranquillity upon them, and rewarded them with a near victory. And many gains will you take, and God is mighty, wise. God promised you many gains that you will take, and he hastened this for you, and withheld the hands of men from you, so that it might be a proof for the believers and he might guide you on a straight path. And others over which you had not power, them has God encompassed. And God is powerful over all things. And had those who are indifferent to warning fought you, they would have turned and fled. Then would they have found neither ally nor helper. The practice of God, which had been before, ellipsis, has not changed to continue, and thou wilt not find in the practice of God any change. And he it is who withheld their hands from you and your hands from them in a belly of destruction after he made you victorious over them, and God is beholder of what you do. They are those who were indifferent to warning and diverted you from the inviolable place of worship, and what was to take place was prevented from occurring. And were it not for believing men and believing women whom you knew not, whom you might have trampled, ellipsis, we should have allowed the battle to proceed, to continue. Then had a blot befallen you on their account without knowledge that God might make enter into his mercy whom he wills. Had they separated, we would have punished those who are indifferent to warning among them with a painful punishment. When those who are indifferent to warning had set up in their hearts bigoted disdain, 
the bigoted disdain of ignorance, God sent down his tranquillity upon his messenger and upon the believers and imposed upon them the word of prudent fear. And they had more right to it and were better suited to it. And God is knowing of all things. God has confirmed the vision of his messenger aright. You will enter the inviolable place of worship if God should will, secure, shaven-headed and cut, not fearing. And he knew what you knew not, and he appointed besides that a near victory. He has sent his messenger with the guidance and the doctrine of truth that he might make it manifest over every doctrine. And God is sufficient as witness. Muhammad is the messenger of God and those with him are hard against the atheists, merciful among themselves. Thou seest them lowly in submission, seeking favour and pleasure from God, their mark on their faces in the wake of the submission. That is their example in the Torah, and their example in the Gospel is like a seed that put forth its shoot and became stout, and took its place upon its stem, impressing the sowers, that he might enrage the atheists by them. God has promised those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness among them forgiveness and a tremendous reward. Chapter 49 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. O you who heed warning, be not forward at the time of God and his messenger, but be in prudent fear of God. God is hearing, knowing. O you who heed warning, raise not your voices above the voice of the prophet, nor shout when speaking to him as you shout one to another, lest your works be made vain while you perceive not. Those who lower their voices in the presence of the messenger of God, these are they whose hearts God has examined for prudent fear. They have forgiveness and a tremendous reward. Those who call to thee from behind the chambers, most of them do not reason. And had they been patient until thou camest forth to them, it would have been better for them. But God is forgiving, merciful. O you who heed warning, if one wantonly perfidious brings you a report, verify lest you strike a people in ignorance and become remorseful for what you did and know that the messenger of God is among you. If he were to obey you in most matters, you would be distressed. But God has endeared faith to you and made it fair in your hearts, and has made denial and wanton perfidy and opposition hateful to you. These are the right-minded. Favour and grace are from God, and God is knowing, wise. And if two groups of the believers fight among themselves, make right between them. And if one of them oppress the other, fight that which oppresses until it returns to the command of God. Then if it returns, make right between them with justice. And be equitable. God loves the equitable. The believers are brethren, so make right between your brethren and be in prudent fear of God, that you might obtain mercy. O you who heed warning, let not one people deride another. It may be that they are better than they, neither women any women. It may be that they are better than they. Nor speak ill of yourselves, nor insult one another with nicknames. Bad is the name of wanton perfidy after faith. And whoso has turned not in repentance, these are the wrongdoers. O you who heed warning, shun much assumption, for some assumption is falsehood. And spy not, neither slander one another. Would any of you like to eat the flesh of his dead brother? You would detest it. And be in prudent fear of God. God 
is relenting, merciful. O mankind, we created you from male and female and made you nations and tribes that you might know one another. The most noble of you in the sight of God are those of you most in prudent fear. God is knowing, aware. The Arabs say, we believe. Say thou, you have not believed. But say, we submit. And faith has not entered into your hearts. But if you obey God and his messenger, he will not defraud you of anything of your deeds. God is forgiving merciful. The believers are but those who believe in God and his messenger, then doubt not, and strive with their wealth and their lives in the path of God. These are the truthful. Say thou, would you teach God your doctrine, when God knows what is in the heavens and what is in the earth? And God knows all things. They think it a favour to thee that they submit. Say thou, think not your submission a favour to me. The truth is, God favours you that he guides you to faith if you be truthful. God knows the unseen of the heavens and the earth, and God sees what you do. Chapter 50 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Qaf By the glorious Qur'an, the truth is, they marvel that a warner has come to them from among them. Then those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue say, This is an amazing thing. When we are dead and are become dust, ellipsis, are we indeed to be brought back to life? To continue, that would be an unlikely return. We know what the earth diminishes of them, and with us is a preserving decree. The truth is, they repudiate the truth when it comes to them, so they are in a confused state. Have they not then looked at the sky above them, how we constructed it and made it fair, and there are no gaps therein? And the earth we spread out and cast therein firm mountains, and we cause to grow therein every sort of delightful kind, as an insight and a reminder for every repentant servant. And we sent down from the sky blessed water, then caused to grow thereby gardens, and the reaped grain, and tall date palms with spathes in clusters, as a provision for the servants and therewith gave we life to a dead land. Thus will be the emergence. There rejected before them the people of Nuh, and the companions of the commencement, and Thamud, and Ad, and Firaun, and the brethren of Lut, and the companions of the woods, and the people of Tubba, Every one rejected the messengers, so my warnings became binding. Were we then wearied by the first creation? And we have created man, and we know what his soul whispers to him, and we are nearer to him than the jugular vein. When the two learners learn, seated on the right hand and on the left, he utters no word save with him is a watcher ready. And the intoxication of death will bring the truth, that is what thou wast avoiding. And the trumpet will be blown, that is the day of warning. And every soul will come with it, a driver and a witness, Thou wast in heedlessness of this, and we have removed from thee thy veil, and keen is thy sight this day. And his intimate companion will say, This is what is with me prepared. Cast into hell every obstinate ingrate, hinderer of good, sceptical transgressor, who set up with God another God, cast him into the severe punishment. 
his intimate companion will say, Our Lord, I did not cause him to transgress, but he was in profound error. He will say, Contend not in my presence, when I had sent my warnings ahead to you. The word before me does not change, and I am not unjust to the servants. The day we say to hell, Art thou full? And it will say, Is there more? And the garden will be brought nigh. For those of prudent fear, not far. This is what you were promised for every one turning in repentance, preserving, who feared the Almighty in the unseen and came with a repentant heart. Enter it in peace. That is the day of eternity. They have what they desire therein, and there is more with us. And how many generations did we destroy before them? They were stronger than them in might, and they penetrated into the land. Had they any place of refuge? In that is a reminder for him who has a heart, or gives ear with a conscious mind. And we created the heavens and the earth and what is between them in six days, and there touched us no weariness. Then be thou patient over what they say, and give thou glory with the praise of thy Lord before the appearance of the sun and before its departure. And some of the night glorify thou him, and at the ends of the submission. And listen thou, for the day the crier will cry from a place nearby, the day they will hear the blast aright. That is the day of emergence. We give life and we give death, and to us is the journey's end. The day the earth is rent asunder from about them rapidly. That gathering is easy for us. We know best what they say. And thou art not a tyrant over them. Remind thou with the Qur'an him who fears my warnings. Chapter 51 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. By the scatterers are scattering, and the bearers of burden, and those sailing with ease, and those who distribute by command. You are but promised what is true, and the judgment will befall. By the sky possessing paths, you are in speech differing. Deluded away from it is he who is deluded. Damned are the tellers of lies, those who are oblivious in confusion. They ask, when is the day of judgment? The day they will be tried by the fire. Taste your means of denial. This is what you sought to hasten. Those in prudent fear will be among gardens and springs, taking that which their Lord gives them. Before that they were doers of good. They slept but little of the night, and at the break of day sought forgiveness, and in their wealth was a due for the one who asked and the one precluded. And in the earth are proofs for those who are certain, and in yourselves. Do you then not see? And in the sky is your provision and what you are promised. Then by the Lord of the sky and the earth it is as true as that you are speaking. Has there come to thee the story of the honoured guests of Ibrahim, when they entered upon him and said, Peace, he said, peace, strangers, and turned aside to his family and brought a fatted calf and placed it near them. He said, will you not eat? And he sensed fear from them. They said, fear thou not, and gave him glad tidings of a learned lad. And his wife came forward, crying out, and struck her face and said, a barren old woman. They said, Thus said thy Lord, He is the wise, the knowing.